Hi everybody, this is C4 Explorer, and I am in a new location that I haven't, I've, I've been here once a little bit, I wanted to check out what was inside, it appears to be a pretty big factory with several buildings on the property, I'm not going to do a full explore, I might end up doing a full explore, but I probably won't. But I just kind of wanted to walk around and check this place out and see if it was worth, uh, you know, doing another explore. It seems like it's just pretty well gutted out and everything, but it seems like a pretty interesting place. A lot of uh, vandalism in here. A lot of peely paint. Various rims. started in the middle of the building when I started the video. Up towards the front area where I came in, there's like a bunch of offices. It's one of these places where you could probably very easily get lost. And we're going to try not to get lost. door. Oh, that's cool. Unbroken glass in this door. Oh, wow. Oh, those room separators. trying to be quiet because I don't really know if there's anybody in here. I don't think so, but you never know. And as you've seen in many of my videos, I'm, I try to be careful when I'm walking around, but I'm like a bull in a china shop. I hear stuff crunching and cracking and knock stuff, not really well, not knock stuff over, but kick stuff and whatnot. As I figure I call enough attention to myself as it is. But if I don't have to call attention to myself, then I won't. And I don't want to disturb anybody, especially if it's somebody that's like living here and just just wants to be left alone. Non-asbestos. Well, that's good to know. Oh, wow. You don't see this very often. At least I haven't. Look at that. Fallout shelter. Cool. I get a picture of that with my camera. That's neat. There's downstairs. Do I want to go downstairs in the creepy basement, people? I know half of you are shouting, yes, yes, and half of you are shouting, no, don't do it. I'll at least take a peek and see what they got. Looks like a water heater. It's a little wet down here. Oh, oh, 
my. Wow. Air system, perhaps. Really big boiler or something. Now it's turbine fans. Wow. You can literally climb right in there if you wanted. Oh. They even leave you a stool. Oh boy. <laughs> like a kid in a candy store in these abandoned buildings. You start seeing machinery. Uh, there's the filters. Jeez. Another lonely chair. And Like a kid in an abandoned candy store. Hopefully with candy. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and head back upstairs. Yeah, walking through water, end up leaving footprints. So if there's somebody is looking for you. Don't go down. Eh, too late. If it is somebody that's looking for you, they can follow your footprints. Oh, a bunch of clever, not so clever graffiti. Let's see. Okay. Oh, this is the, uh, this is back towards the front. Ooh, red, white, and blue room. Nice cool draft in here. Eh, not much, not much to see. All right. Signage on the door. There's a bathroom. Smashed up toilet. Unsmashed up urinals. All right. And then we got holes in the roof. Ooh. I've seen. That's interesting. Some of this, they have some of this graffiti, like this is just kind of creepy and spooky. But at least somebody put some time into it. And I've said it before, I don't condone graffiti, but I mean, people are going to do it, right? So if you're going to do it, you know, at least, at least do something clever or something. Just looking outside. Um, okay, which way do I go from here? I think I got lost again. Oh, we're going to turn around. Sorry about that, people. Okay, oh yeah, right. I know. Oh yeah, stairwell up here. I might go up here in a second. Here's a uh, elevator. Active door open this side. Yeah. It's a big, mostly empty room. Hospice property, do not enter. Interesting. that I've seen. Still very peely painty. Nice. Let's see, we got no 
another stairwell down. Yeah, I keep debating. I shouldn't go down the stairs. I'm going to go down the stairs. I used to think I was indecisive. Now I'm not so sure. Actually, yeah, it's a good call not to. That that appears to be flooded right there. So we're not going to we're not going to do that. Okay. Should I head back up here? And so there is a see. I know. Somewhere around here is pretty cool, like a kitchen. There's some, uh, what would you call that? Um, inspirational graffiti? I don't know. If you just walk by, are you talking about it now? Oh, I was just over here. Wow. Okay. Down there. Go over to these gutted out offices. Oh. Swimming. Entrance. Cool. I'm going to make sure my car is still here. Wait, do I see my car? Yeah, I see my car. Okay. Well, we've got wallpaper here, folks. Out windows, lots of glass. Oh, it's a cabinet, is what I saw. An old busted cabinet. Let's go find the kitchen. A desk. I'm gonna confirm that my car is still there and nobody's by it. Okay, nobody's by my car. Going bang, 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 bang. I hate always saying it's just the wind because the one time you say it's the wind, it turns out it's not the wind. But you know, I don't hear it anymore. So that's fine. Weird flex, but okay. There's another entryway here. I think we went by this a minute ago. Yeah. That, that looks like it used to be a trophy case or something. Oh, here's the kitchen. Lots of uh, graffiti over there. There's some over here that's kind of Typically stupid. Although the uh, ghost is kind of funny, or whatever that is. Anyways, let's see. So this would be the dish conveyor, or possibly a food conveyor. I would assume probably dishes. We got some big refrigerators, and serving trays, and or carts and stuff. You get all your silverware and. Plates. More refrigerators over here. Let's see. Come back here. These were neat. I don't know what these are. Like little, maybe like little warming boxes or something to keep keep uh, food warm. Through. I don't know what that is. I got the sink. 
There's the other side of the conveyor over there. Oh, oh. dishwasher. things back back when I was younger when I was a teenager I worked in various restaurants as a dishwasher Pizza ovens, maybe, right? What do y'all think? I guess you could cook anything in them. Oh, here they are. Look at that. Big old mixing bowls. back end of those those warming uh, warming things that range clean as you go or there will be consequences chemical hazards back here. Let's come back here and see what's going on. Right I keep debating on wanting to do more buildings today. But I think ah, see I told you like a bull in a china shop. Um, I think what I'm going to do Split these up, maybe, and do like a part one, part two with the various buildings. Because there's, I mean, like I said, this is a really huge property. And I'm not sure what that is. Oh, can washer and sanitizer. Let's try the pedals. Hmm? Nope. But yeah, I think I might just go ahead and try to split them up. Just hanging out in one site, especially as conspicuous as I am. all day somewhere because it increases the uh, possibility of getting caught or getting hurt or both and the whole time while I say that what am I doing I'm I keep exploring that's what we do oh why do I have my light on still wow Look at the Quonset huts There we go. Okay. Oh, I think I was already over here. Uh, no, I don't remember the giant swimming pool. Wow. It's got all kinds of debris in it. Can y'all see that?
here we have a, a fortunately very obvious hell hole here. Oh no, it's a staircase. Still kind of a hell hole though if you walk through it the wrong way. These doors, wow. Truck traffic, I, I would assume. Is what that used to say. Look at those massive doors, people. It's awesome. Giant cavernous warehouse area. It's really wet over here. Yeah. I had a little deeper than I thought it was. It's okay. I see something cool over here, so we're going to go ahead and play through the water. Uh, my socks are going to be really wet. I don't know what the deuce it is, but... Degreaser perchloroethylene. All right. Neato. Oh, oh, that's not as much of a drop as I thought it was, although, uh, okay. Let's see here, very carefully. Get over here. You can look at these, this machine. And then we're going to go ahead and turn around. Cause, okay. Um, yeah, oh, oh, okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, I got to get out of this water. When you see chemicals with big unpronounceable names, you always wonder what's in the puddles of water. My shoes haven't decayed off my feet yet, so I guess that's a good thing. So I got a gutted out room in here. If y'all can hear that, off in the uh, distance over here, there's there's water dripping, running out of something. Got some control panels. Something big over there, too. Wow. Mm. What the deuce? Genrich Oven Division. Wow. Uh, those over there. I don't know what that is either. Intriguing. Okay. Here. Let's go over here. And find out what we have. Oh, got water dripping on me. More electrical stuff. Pipes. Sounds like a metal floor there. That's kind of strange. Huh. Work bell. Another huge open area warehouse. See how far we've come? There's the side of that Quonset hut over there. Okay, 
sorry people, I'm stopping for a second. There we go. Turn on my headlight. I have a shout out to my my brother Kevin and his wife Courtney. They gave me a headlight for Christmas because they know that I like to do exploring and I need as much light as possible. So thank you both. Joy. Yeah. Wash and open slowly. Another vast warehouse. I would assume they would have had some sort of a crane here. To, or, well, yeah, there's a pulley right there. A winch or block and tackle, maybe. I think I might have to go back to my non technical terms. Thingamajig, whatchamacallit. Kind of raining right over here, so we're gonna go ahead and head back up this way. We'll go ahead and look up, look up at the roof. Okay, we'll head back the way we came. It's raining over here, too. Okay, there's... Did we, did we come in here, people? Not that we did. I mean, there wasn't really much to see. Some old... Rusted out pipes. Compressor tank. Yeah. A bench. Okay. Come back over here and not have to walk through all that water again. all the, the banks of fluorescent lights and it looks like most of them still have the, the bulbs in them I guess it's too much work for somebody to come in with their own ladder and have to climb all the way up there and pull out the tubes and bring them down and then smash the hell out of them for no reason 
it's a lot easier when when you just really have to you know, just pull them pull them out without needing to climb on something another big door Oh, this, uh, this is where I came out, or came in originally. I came out through this way. And this wall over here looks like it's about to collapse. It's partially started to rip itself away from the, uh, the rest of the, the room or whatever. Go down. Already did. Been there, done that. All right, people. Um. Oh wait, I was gonna, I was gonna end the tour, but I forgot. What, there's upstairs over here. Somewhere. I gotta find the stairs. I think they're right, right through this doorway. Although I have hit past 30 minutes or 32:02. To be one of my longer videos, I guess. I have a feeling there's probably not a whole lot up here. Oops. But it's always worth a look. Sorry about that. Okay. It's a big open space for the most part. Oh. Lucky here, folks. <sighs> Alright. Who wants me to climb it? I'm putting my light down. I'm gonna have to climb it very carefully, but this is here. Try that. This is uh, kind of like yesterday when I shot the meat plant, and I kept climbing up and down ladders. Oh, oh, that's a hell of a view. Oh, sorry people. Look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and 